A lot of you have been requesting or asking the question, how do I connect my Canon camera to StreamYard? Um, there's a couple of different hurdles you gotta jump through. It's, it's not that bad. Um, there's a number of ways I'm gonna try and weed through some of them in this video. Probably gonna include way more than you really need. But toward the end, you're gonna see me use two applications. That's Camera Live and Cam Twist. And Cam Twist is the application that you'll select in StreamYard to get your Canon camera as a source. All right, so without any further ado, let's see how it all works. I'm Kirk Nugent and I challenge everyday people to think holistically about their relationship to technology and media at home for their families and at work for career success. I'm gonna run through this video very quickly. I'm gonna try and make it concise. I'm gonna try and keep it just to the points that you need, but I'm hoping that by the end of it, you will have been able to connect your Canon camera, whatever it is, T4, T5, T8, how many T's do they have now? <laughs> or if you're like me and you have the Canon 60D or one of these older models that can't use the Canon webcam utility, uh, my, my camera's not on the list, but I still wanna use it. I'm using it right now to record. It's a great camera. So you wanna be able to connect it to StreamYard. You wanna be able to use it as a web camera. This is one of the ways that you can use to be able to do that. So let's dive in. I'm gonna start off with the A10 Mini. Now, it's a whole nother video to go over the settings and the features of the A10 Mini, but essentially I'm using it in this video as a capture card. So let's look at that. So here is the A10 Mini. So we're here blinking around, doing all kinds of stuff. I've got two cameras connected to it. I've got a, a Canon Vixia uh, camcorder, standard. Um, not a really great picture, but it gives me something to be able to stream from. Then I've also got my Canon DSLR here connected. The issue with the Canon DSLR is that it doesn't give me a clean feed into the A10 Mini. So sometimes I struggle to use it. Got the webcam connected into my recorder device. I've also got the Canon DSLR connected to my A10 Mini going into the recording device. I'm gonna switch between what you're seeing right now and my Canon DSLR by going to this one. And so now you're seeing uh, the Canon DSLR, I'm looking at you here, and of course this is better quality. It's not a clean feed, is what I'm saying. Um, now there are things that I can do to clean it up a little bit, but every now and again, that autofocus box shows up. And so, it makes it difficult to use the Canon DSLR with the A10 Mini, but it does work going into StreamYard. And I wanna show you that just as an option because you know you might as well see it, right? So I'm gonna to switch to my desktop here. And you're still seeing me on the webcam. And so if we go to StreamYard, And I'm gonna enter this test room. And so here I'm gonna say, okay, so it's already still, it's already set to cam twist. So I'm gonna to go to cam mic, check, go into the options, and I'm going to select the black magic design, and at some point, there it is. And there you have it. So that is the Canon DSLR coming through my A10 Mini. And it works, but as you can see, it doesn't take up the full screen. And every now and again, usually shows me that box, a little um, autofocus box. There it is, okay. <laughs> and, and there it is again. <laughs> so the idea is you would not be able to stream with this um, in a live production. It just, you know, you, you want something that's consistent, that's clean, and it's, it's gonna take up the full 16 by nine, 720 by uh, 1280 by 720 screen. So this wouldn't necessarily get you there. I'm gonna enter broadcast studio anyway, just to let you see. To let you see 
that this is an option for streaming in StreamYard. You can use the A10 Mini. Um, in fact, I am going to turn on another camera here. There it goes. I'm gonna turn on another camera um, that I have connected to the A10 Mini. And of course, so right now I have, as I mentioned before, the, the Vixia camcorder, but I also have my DSLR, which is what you're seeing in StreamYard right now. All I'm gonna do is click, hit cut on the A10 Mini switcher, and now you're looking at my Canon Vixia camcorder camera. Of course, the picture looks better on the camera than it does in StreamYard, but what I'm saying is the A10 Mini is a great option. I'll probably do another video just on the A10 Mini, but I'm showing you the challenge of the Canon camera with the A10 Mini, trying to get it a clean feed into StreamYard. So that's where these two applications, Camera Live and uh, Cam Twist, come in, and I'll show you that. So I've got my two Mac Minis here. I'm using the top one. I've got one for church, one for myself personally. <laughs> Anyway, I'm using the top one, and I have that also displayed on the screen here, and that's what I've been doing my screen recording from. So, on the back of the Mac Mini, I'm gonna plug my USB cable. It is that kind of cable. You just need to look at your camera to decide what cable, um, what USB cable that is, but for my Canon camera, it's the USB-A cable, the old school USB cable. Uh, and that's what I use. So plug this end into the computer here. Plug this end into the camera. So I'm, I've taken that same cord that I plugged into my Mac Mini, plugging it into the camera here like this. So now I'm gonna show you the two applications that I use on the computer Camera Live and Cam Twist, those two enable me to get that video into StreamYard. Forgot to mention that after, so what I was using to connect to the A10 Mini is the actual Mini HDMI port on the Canon 60D going to full HDMI on the A10 Mini. So that's what I was using for that. And then of course I showed you now, I've plugged in the USB cord from the Canon 60D going into my Mac Mini. And so we're gonna look at Camera Live now. Let me switch to my desktop and I'm gonna pull up the Camera Live application. And it says no camera, that is correct. I haven't turned it on yet, so I'm gonna do that now. that comes up you can see it says starting and it says active we're gonna pull up the cam twist application Canon uh, camera live is a server and it does what it does it has very little preferences anything to select in there but I will have those links in the description for both camera live and cam twist cam twist however is a very powerful application um, could probably take hours going through all of the settings and features I am not an expert, I will admit that openly. It has its steps here, step one, step two, step three. Step one, we are looking for a siphon, uh, siphon video source, because we're siphoning the video out. Siphon, you click there, I, in fact, double click there, and you'll see that step three it populates, and, step, and then you have a settings screen. Uh, I don't mess with the effects, I leave it the way it is. I also do not adjust the settings, uh, so I'm coming right here to where it says, please select, I select camera live. And when I select that, now as an option, I can switch to the DSLR. So now the little circle you're seeing is my DSLR. It's because now that, that I've, I've switched that to cam twist in my screen recorder. I'm gonna switch back, because I don't wanna confuse you. I'm back on my webcam. And what we're gonna do is go to StreamYard. And so that's where we are now, looking at StreamYard. And we're gonna enter the broadcast studio. And it's gonna take a second to come up. 
it is already selected cam twist. Yep, it's selected cam twist. And you can see there's no box, there's no adjusting. It's a clean feed. It is slightly delayed. I'm not certain why that is. It may be a, a function of my machine, but I'm gonna just go ahead and enter the studio and there, there you have it. I am on screen using my Canon 60D a DSLR, clean feed, a straight connection from the camera into my Mac Mini uh, using a USB cable and um, not using a capture card, not using the A10 Mini, just straight from the camera into my Mac Mini um, and I have Canon Live, camera live running and my uh, the Cam Twist application open as well. Cam Twist is what presents to the rest of the machine as a webcam that you can use in different applications. That's it. Man, I'm really hopeful that we got you where you needed to be. If you have an old, older Canon camera and you want to repurpose it for streaming or to use it as a webcam for whatever purposes, everybody's in Zoom or Google Meet or Microsoft Teams or whatever these days, uh, I'm hoping that what I showed will be able to step you through that process. Uh, if you're getting value from these videos, we would really appreciate you clicking that subscribe button. Here at How It All Works, we are on a mission to get to 1,000 subscribers, but that's just our first goal. We've got many more goals after that. One of them being is creating a community around this brand, around this channel. Thank you so much for your comments. Thank you so much for continuing to engage and giving me good feedback, both <laughs> the good and the bad. Uh, it helps us to improve. I'm Kirk Nugent, the Geek Speaker Preacher. Somewhere in the course of this video, I hope that you figured out uh, something that you didn't know before, uh, found a utility that was useful, or saw a setting or connect the dots somewhere that helped you to piece together the puzzle and help you to see how it all works. We'll see you in the next video.